Have you noticed an increase of surveillance in this city? It's okay. Just for the record, nothing you're saying today will be recorded. Or will be used <laughs> as evidence against you. In a court of law. I feel more protected walking down the streets. It hasn't really changed how I act in public. So, like, you figure having cameras everywhere would definitely change my behavior? It hasn't. One time, I had to go down to the police station to make a statement about a sexual assault. And at one point during my statement, well, it's probably standard procedure, but they asked me what I thought should happen to people lied in their statements and whether I thought it was okay to lie in the statement myself. Where I'm at has become this unbelievable loop of not really knowing what's real or not. I'm not calling you a liar. Just don't lie to me. I'm not calling you a thief. Just don't steal from me. I always imagined the Vancouver police were here to serve and protect, or at least that's what you hope. But sometimes, this isn't always the case. Sometimes they don't have the best people skills. Why do people join gangs? A young woman killed in an apartment? Some man shot in an SUV? Um, a sense of a belonging. Because in schools and stuff, you don't feel like you're belonging if you're different and you like certain things. I have this scar on my face from when I was a kid. And I have these two scars right here. This scar is bad too. I got stabbed in the leg in high school right where the muscle was and I couldn't walk for eight months. It's nothing I really feel like talking about. But I can see you're the kind of person I can talk to. So what I would like to talk about is this one incident that happened a few years ago. Not to me, it didn't involve me, but to Robert Jakansky. I didn't even know the guy, but somehow, just hearing my friends saying, this is something you gotta see, and watching on YouTube. Since then, I'm haunted by this feeling that at any moment, for no apparent reason, I could be taken down and tasered. These days, I'm constantly looking over my shoulder. But there's been one too many times where because of the way I look and dress, I've been mistaken for a dealer when I'm hanging out with my friends. After seeing that on YouTube, not a single day passes where I don't see myself getting taken down and tasered, just like him. Now I always watch my back.